Welcome back trainers. So the Equinox event has begun and we're going to be going over all the new tasks as well as the raids. So we were expecting a few new shinies which we did receive but not the ones that we were expecting. And also how to prepare for future community days by taking advantage of this event. So with that said let's go ahead and start the video. Okay so we were possibly expecting a shiny Oddish to come in. Well that surely didn't happen. Well maybe a shiny Bellsprout. Did that come in? No. Definitely not. All right, so possibly an execute shiny variants. Nope, not that either. We got Soul Rock and Lunatone as the new shinies in Pokemon Go. The only problem that I have with this is these spawns are slightly rare to find, and it's going to take forever to finally find one. But hey, they're here, and that's what we get for our new shiny variances. Alrighty, so we are over here on the Leak Duck. I will be leaving a link in the description so you can go check it out yourself. So for the tier 1 raids, we have Chikorita, which can be a shiny, Sunkern, which can be a shiny, Lotad, no shiny for that, and Shinx, as we all know, can be a shiny. I'm yet to find one of those. For the tier 2 raids, we have Exeggutor, Alolan Exeggutor, Grovel, Mawile, which can be a shiny, and Roserade, which also can be a shiny. Now, this is where it's going to come into play, where you can possibly take advantage of the future community day, seeing that we are going to be getting Sceptile. And it's going to be learning a new move. We just don't know quite yet what it's going to be. I'm certain it is going to be fantastic, even if they gave it a new one. So this is the time to possibly collect as many of those as you can, trade with your friends, and also catch Tricos in the wild so you can stock up on those candies, as well as possibly finding good IV ones. So there is that tip right there. On to the Tier 3 raids, we have a Lolan Raichu, which can be a Shiny, Machamp, Tangela, and Breloom. Okay. Moving on to tier 4s, we do have Victory Bell, Marowak, that's not the Alolan, regular form, Tyranitar, Shiftery, and Absol, which can be a shiny variant. And then on to the tier 5, of course, it's going to be Dialga, and then the current EX raid up until the next wave, which we all know is going to be the defense form, and that's going to be attack form. Now, I did do my last attack form today, we're going to be taking a look at that as well, and I'm going to be using 6 unique Pokemon, no Tyranitar, or Mewtwo's. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on with the news. All right, so now we're over here on the game press. We're going to take a look at the new research tasks for the Equinox event. Catch 10 Grass-type Pokemon for 1,000 Stardust. Catch 3 Bulbasaur or Chikorita for Tortwig. Now, this is where you can also start saving those up for the future community day if you're having trouble ever hatching them or finding them in the wild. Now is your opportunity to stock up on those for the future. Evolve 2 Grass-type for Tangela. Evolve 5 Grass-type for a Venusaur which is pretty cool, I guess. You're not going to have that Frenzy Plant Community Day move, but it's still going to be a good amount of Stardust when you do catch it, and even if you have a Star Piece on. So there you have it for the new research task for the Equinox event. All right, so as we know now, Lunatone and Soul Rock are going to be the new Shinies. Soul Rock is going to be in this area where I'm at. I did find a couple non-Shinies, of course. So they are there. They're just kind of harder to find. And of course, look at this. I just maxed out my... Uh, Bastiodon yesterday and if you're wondering why did you max out a 50% IV one? What were you thinking? It came at a high CP and I made previous videos kind of talking about it It was you know for fun and it's all good But this one right here is gonna land on exactly 1500 if I did evolve it and power it up It's going to take quite a bit of investment, but Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit better than the current one. I have so oops Check it out, guys. Look what I found. A shiny Pidgey. Go plus it yesterday. Isn't that something? Pretty amazing. So I'm still deciding whether I'm going to evolve this or not. But yeah, found it. And that's pretty neat. It's funny that I was out grinding for a couple of days nonstop. And then I simply go to Costco in the parking lot and go plus one just like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Victory Bell. Because we do have new moves now, right? And that's going to be for several different Pokemon. I am going to TM my 100 just to possibly get the new move. So let's just go ahead and scroll down here to OG Kush. He's been around since September 26 of 2016, so quite some time now. So we have Leaf Blade and Sludge Bomb. What is Leaf Tornado going to exactly do? Actually, it's going to lower the attack of your opponent. So let's see if we can get that on this, uh, this OG here. I'm thinking I want to to get rid of Leaf Blade because I don't need two grass moves. So there goes Solar Beam. All right, no problem. Uh, hopefully it doesn't bounce back like it did with the you-know-who. All right, so let's get rid of that. And there goes Leaf Tornado. Perfect. Now if we go over here, opponent's attack drop. There you go. 
Very nice. Now, I'm just wondering about the new acid move. Let's see if we can try to find that. All right, so it's time to get acid spray. Finally found out it's going to be a charge move. So we're just going to have to hope we get it when we use our charge moves here. I'm going to be testing it out on my Great League Alolan Muck because the thing is fantastic. Sludge Wave takes forever to finally get off. And uh, I want a move on it that is actually going to have some sort of status effect. So let's see what we can get here. Acid Spray on our first try. Wow, that's <laughs> wow, quite amazing. So as you can see, it is going to be doing only 20 damage, but your opponent's defense will drop. So that is pretty cool there. So on your victory belt, technically you can have the defense dropping move as well as the attack dropping move. So that's going to be pretty interesting. And I'm kind of contemplating right now whether I want to do that to my victory belt because that would make it pretty good. Now the next thing to do is go into a PvP battle and actually test these out to see how well they perform. But what I'm thinking is also, let me go ahead and clear this out so we can look at my victory bells. I kind of want to, I have a lucky one. I want to get these moves on it and power it up and bring it into the Great League. I do have a 100 bell sprout here, but take a look, it's you know way up there. So if I do evolve it, it's going to go right past the Great League. Uh, but on the other hand, we do have this victory bell here. It's going to cost 50,000 Stardust to purchase a secondary move. Is it going to be worth it? You know, Victory Bell is pretty neat, right? Razor Leaf is amazing, which I should probably go ahead and just uh, put that on it right now. There we go. And I'll contemplate whether I want to do that or not. Alrighty, trainers, I decided I'm going to go all in here. I'm going to purchase a secondary move on the Victory Bell. Let's go. Because this is what the channel is all about. So we have Leaf Blade and Solar Beam, both the moves I don't want. Come on, man. Are you serious? All right, so let's go ahead and TM um, Solar Beam off here. Okay, we got Acid Spray on our first try. Thank goodness. All right. Now let's go ahead and go with Leap Blade and get the other one. We don't want Sludge Bomb. Oh, gosh. Please don't take me below 10 TMs. Leaf Tornado. There we go. Very good. It does look glitchy, so when you do switch your moves up, just back out, and they should go right back to normal there. So there you go. So, opponent's defense drops for Acid Spray, Leaf Tornado, opponent's attack drops. So, Victory Bell's looking pretty fresh right now. And we're going to go ahead and power this up for the Great Leap, folks. Because, as you know, uh, if you've been watching me for quite some time now, I do adore Victory Bell just because of the grass typing. And it's just, it's just an awesome Pokemon to me. It actually resembles a real-life plant, and it literally looks just like that. Alrighty, trainers, so I'm happy to report that these moves are fairly good. Even if they block, the effects still happen. Now, using the Alolan Muck with Bite takes quite a bit of time to finally get off that Acid Spray, but once you do, once you do get it off, you're going to lower their defense, even if they shield up. And if you've ever used a Pokemon with Bite, uh, Alolan Muck, for instance, it really tears through your opponents, even if it's not very effective. And when you lower their, sharply lower their defense, holy cow, you're going to see how quickly the Alolan Muck's bite tears through them. It is pretty OP, I'm going to say that. Now, for Victory Bell, it can learn both of them, the defense lowering and the attack lowering. Leaf Tornado is going to lower their attack. Uh, same thing, if they shield up, it's still going to go down. How do I like them? Fantastic. Leaf Tornado is going to actually charge faster than Acid Spray, as we're going to see here in just a moment, because I do have a feeling they did that on purpose, because if you were to continuously lower your opponent's defense, even if they were blocking, yeah, super OP for sure. So we are going to be making this Victory Bell fit perfectly for the Great League at 1495, looking fantastic. So let's go ahead and hop into these PvP battles with Chirk. So I want to say thank you. I appreciate you always responding to me and saying, yeah, let's battle right away. He had no idea what I was going to use. I simply asked him, hey, do you want to do a free-for-all Great League? He said, sure. So we're going in here with the Victory Bell. As you can see, the Leaf Tornado is charging up faster than the Acid Spray. Acid Spray is only going to be doing 20 damage. You're not really worried about the damage. You're just trying to lower their defense. I did not use them because that Alolan Eradicate was already almost fainted. I wanted to try it out on a fresh Pokemon here. He is going to be blocking that and the attack lowers and the leaf tornado is still going strong don't know why i did it again i should have just continued on there uh, but he still took me out so as you can see even if they block the effects still happen so let's see what the alola muck can do here so we're just going to town and it does charge a little bit faster than that dark pulse 
and keep in mind it is only doing 20 damage like i just said so you're not trying to really use this to do the damage it's more to lower your opponent's defense and then if you have bite it's going to rip through them look look at that wow how amazing so i'm pretty excited for this guys i think i'm going to evolve my shiny grimer and get was it fire punch as well as acid spray combination that should be pretty good so for the Alolan Muck, I think I'm going to go for another quick move and see how it works. And if you're wondering why you're using Blastoise, because the gig is up. He already knows what I'm doing here. As you can see, he went in with the uh, Alolan Raticate ready for action. So that's why I bring in the Blastoise just for a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to be bringing in the Alolan Muck here. Super effective to that Haunter with the Bite. And that Acid Spray takes so long to finally charge up. But let's see if we can get it off before we faint. So the next Pokemon can come in and do quite a bit of damage with that quick move. Acid Spray going in, lowering the defense, sharply lowering the defense, I should say. And I was deciding what I should bring in here. I was like, ah, we'll just go ahead and go with the Blastoise here. And just uh, get off this Hydro Cannon. He does have another shield left, so that's okay. We'll burn that off. And down goes the Blastoise. Now let's see what the Victory Bell can do. And I'm going to be blocking this because that's super effective to me. And I mean, it doesn't have much health left, so it wasn't really that great of a test right there. But you can still see when you block and the defense and attack will still lower. So going into the next match here, going to start it off with Hitmonchan. He's bringing in his shiny muck. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Alolan muck as well. He's going to be doing Thunder Punch. Did I say Fire Punch earlier? I meant to say Thunder Punch. All right. So we're just going to block up again because I just want to preserve as much health as I can so I can get an efficient test on this and keep it in the fight as long as possible. Getting off this acid spray, so it doesn't matter if he blocks or not, the defense is going to sharply lower. Don't know if it was the best idea to use it with such low health, I should have just done it into the next Pokemon, but as you can see, the bite just ripped right through it after its defense sharply lowered. In comes Lucario. All right, let's see what I can do next with the Victory Bell. So he's gonna hit me up with Power Punch, getting an attack boost himself. All right, but that's not gonna be very effective to me, so we're looking okay. But at this point, the Victory Bell tore into him so much that eh, nothing really happened <laughs> so there you have it trainers these new moves are fantastic and a little thing here we're not going to look at the deoxys solo we'll take a look at that in the future so are these moves actually going to be worth tming or purchase a secondary move and actually using them in battle we're over here on GoHub. We're going to take a look at Victory Bell stats and moves really quick first. And just to let you know, the new moves that were just added are not going to be within its move pool on this site here quite yet. I'm just going to give you my personal breakdown and thoughts like I usually do without any sort of other influence. All right. So taking a look at it, it's going to be a Grass and Poison type, max CP 2431, attack 207, not bad, defense 137, and stamina 190. So it's not looking horrible. Let's go ahead and take a look at its uh, quick moves. We have Acid and Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is fantastic, okay? The energy gain is not going to be the best, but it's very, very strong. For the charge moves, we have Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, Leaf Blade, and now Leaf Tornado, as well as Acid. So Victory Bell has five charge moves, okay? Which ones do you personally want? Do you want to keep Leaf Blade or do you want to go Sludge Bomb? Sludge Bomb is going to be doing a pretty good amount of damage as well as getting stabbed. On the other hand, Acid Spray is going to only be doing 20. Take quite some time to finally get off, but when you do, you're going to sharply lower your opponent's defense stat. So is it going to be worth it in that regard? Yes. If you do have Razor Leaf, I personally think so. All right, that's just my this, you know personal choices here and the numbers and all that other stuff for... You know, simulators have not come out yet, and that's just my thoughts. As far as a Leaf Tornado on Victory Bell, Acid Spray Leaf Tornado combination is looking pretty good. Leaf Tornado is going to lower the attack, not the defense. So when we look at Leaf Blade, that one is going to have 33 energy and pretty strong, a lot stronger than Leaf Tornado. So which one do you personally want? Well, I think Leaf Blade is still going to be absolutely fantastic. Solar Beam is something you don't want unless you're doing raids. Um, but as far as Leaf Tornado and Leaf Blade go, I'm personally going to stick with Leaf Tornado for now. The performance is great, and I just like the combination of lowering the defense as well as the attack at the same time. Now, which one is actually going to perform better as far as damage output? That's definitely going to be Sludge Bomb and possibly Leaf Blade as well. So just take note of that. All right, let's go ahead and hop into Muck.
Right, starting it off with the Alolan version, it's going to be Poison and Dark with a max AP of 2657, Attack 190, Defense 172, and Stamina 233. Now let's go ahead and take a look at its moves. And like I stated for the Victory Bell, these new moves are not going to be appearing on here quite yet. For the quick moves, we have Snarl, Poison Jab, and Bite. Now the new move it did learn is going to be Acid Spray, and that is it. We have Gung Shot, Sludge Wave, and Dark Pulse. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to replace one of those hard-hitting poison moves for that very weak Acid Spray that's going to sharply lower their defense? On the other hand, give you a great advantage with your quick move, doing quite a bit of damage once you get it off, even if they block, because as we've seen, it still goes through. Personally, I'm going to remove Gunk Shot and Sludge Wave and go with Acid Spray to lower their defense because once I do get that off, if I have Bite, it's gonna be tearing through them quite nicely. I do wanna try it out with Poison Jab to see how that works as well because Poison Jab will be gaining a lot more energy, charging it up a lot quicker. As far as Snarl goes, that one's possibly going to be doing nice as well. Now, uh, if you don't have two moves, what do you want? Do you just wanna run Acid Spray? Mm, not necessarily, but it's not gonna be a horrible option, okay? The choice is yours. Play around with it to see what you can do. So it will have four charge moves. Acid Spray is going to be a charge move, not a quick move, okay? As we obviously seen there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Kanto Muck. Right now for the Kanto Muck, it's going to be a pure poison type. Max EP 2757, attack 190, defense 172, and stamina 233. Now if you go over to the moves, it's not going to show the new ones, so we're just going to, you know, talk about it. Now it does have quite a bit of charge moves now as gunk shot sludge wave dark pulse thunder punch and now acid spray so it has five so good luck trying to get the move that you want e that could burn through your tms trying to get that so personally when i evolve mine i'm going to do the shiny not in this video so look out for that probably in my next video alongside the deoxys solo with all unique types not using tyranitar or mewtwo sorry i'm not going to be putting that in this video um I'm going to be running possibly Thunder Punch and Acid Spray. As for the quick moves, maybe going to go for Infestation, seeing that that has such great energy gain, and you will be able to get off of that Acid Spray probably pretty frequently. So I'm quite excited to test that out. There you go, guys. Just a quick rundown for these new moves. I didn't break down all the other Pokemon that can learn this. We'll be going over that in the future because this video is starting to get kind of lengthy. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will be bringing you more content that you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching trainers. Be safe out there and I'll be catching you all next time.